Hi, Charles is a book sage here, and this is my Christmas book haul. Now, my sister gave me a gift card from Barnes and Noble, a hundred dollars worth of gift card um, to go buy books for myself. She know uh, she knows I have my booktube channel, and she's like, "Go get books." So I did, and I put a poll up on Twitter to see do I get do I go for quantity or quality, a whole bunch of mass markets to get as many books as I can, or just hardcovers and I think the hardcovers probably won I have to take a look at how the final poll came out but the last time I looked at it the hardcovers I think it just won out now I ended up getting eight books and I ended up six paperbacks mass market paperbacks and two hardcovers now initially I had three hardcovers in my hand and I was leaning towards a couple of others but then there were certain paperbacks there that when I saw them I was like I, I, I have to get them so I'm going to start with the mass market paperbacks first. And I'm going to start my book haul by showing you a book that's not part of the book haul, but there's a reason I'm showing it to you. A while back, I purchased The Last Stormlord, uh, which is the Stormlord Book One by Glenda Lark. And this is um, a story apparently where there's, it's like a desert sort of world and water is life, it says. Their civilization is at the brink of disaster. If Shale and Terrell can find a way to save themselves, they may just save them all. Water is life, and the wells are running dry. And it just looked really interesting. Very cool cover. And so I picked it up. And ever since then, because this was like 2009, I think. And ever since then, every single time I go back to Barnes & Noble, I was like, do they have books two and three? And they never do. Never once have they had books two and three. Until I took my gift certificate the other day and went to Barnes & Noble, and there were books two and three. I felt a little bad because they had all three of them, and I bought books two and three and left book one all by itself, so some other person is going to come along and, ooh, this looks interesting, and buy book one, and then wonder when they can get books two and three. Now, yes, I know I can buy them online, but what's the fun in that? This Part of going to the bookstore is hunting for books. Are they there? And they had books two and three. So I picked up Stormlord Rising, book two. Again, another really cool cover. And Stormlord's Exile, book three. Also a cool cover. And I am super excited, so I can finally read this trilogy this year. So next up is one of my favorite reads of 2017 is Who Fears Death? Um... If you haven't watched my 2017 A Reading Year in Review video, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna link that right up here so you can go see where Who Fears Death came out in my top five of the year. Um, but there's another book by Nettie Okorafor, The Book of Phoenix. And this she wrote, I believe, after Who Fears Death, but it is a prequel to Who Fears Death. And there was no way I couldn't buy this book once I saw it there. Again, awesome cover as well. Uh, yeah, because Who Fears Death is just a stunning, amazing book, and so I had to get this, the prequel. So there was just no way. Next up is the trilogy that I end up buying by putting back the hardcover I put back. And I put the hardcover back again because it's a book I don't need in hardcover. I'm going to buy it in ebook, and that's Artemis. I'm gonna, I want to read that, um, but I really don't need the hardcover. And instead, I was like, okay, it's finally time to read this story. I used to own this, and this was in that box that I've mentioned in a couple of other videos that I accidentally gave away to a library's book sale. My entire mass market paperback book box of all these fantasy series that I wanted to read, that I had been collecting, and I accidentally gave the box away. And one of the highlights of that box that I was really dying to finally get to, I now have repurchased. And that is the Mistborn Trilogy. Yes, I have yet to read the Mistborn Trilogy. <laughs> and yes, the cellophane wrapping on this, because I haven't opened it yet. There we go. Is doing all sorts of glare. But anyway, the Mistborn Trilogy. So this is definitely something I'm reading in 2018. Um, I plan on doing a lot of Branderson Sanderson 
Branderson Sanderson. <laughs> I plan on doing a lot of Brandon Sanderson reading in 2018. So, yes, it's hard to not. I'm deliberately not opening this cellophane wrapping uh, because I'm not going to read this yet. And if I open this up now, I'm just going to open that first book up and I'm going to start reading. And that's going to destroy my entire kind of TBR that I've got built for the first part of the year. But this might show up in a poll that I might be putting on Twitter that might get me to read it earlier. We'll see. All right, now on to the two hardcovers. Now, this one is a book I have been dying to get my hands on uh, for a long time. And that is a George R. R. Martin's A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. These are the, I believe, the Dunk and Egg stories. Uh, these have, the events in this, these short stories, take place about 100 years before the events of A Song of Ice and Fire. And it follows Duncan the Tall and his little kind of squire, Egg, who I believe is Aegon Targaryen, one of the Targaryens. And just really cool opening uh, book, inside book cover artwork. But Martin is just a brilliant, brilliant writer, and I've been wanting to read the Duncan Egg stories for quite a while now. And uh, I've been, I haven't pulled the trigger on this in the past because it's been like $30 and it's just hard to spend $30 on a book, but I've really, really, really wanted it. And I ended up getting it for 20. So can't beat that. And now my last book here, which was actually the very first book I went and took off the shelf as soon as they got it in the bookstore. The one book I knew without a doubt I was buying. And that was George Saunders, Lincoln and the Bardo. Of course, this again was absolutely brilliant. Again, I talk about this in my 2017 year in review video and in my most recent Friday Reads video. And that's my book haul, my Christmas book haul. Thank you very much to my wonderful sister. Um, she was super excited to give me the um, gift certificate so I can go and spend books. It took me about three hours to pick these out. I wandered around and back and forth and back and forth. Had other books in my hand periodically. But that's it. I am going to wrap this up. This is my Christmas 2017 book haul video. I'm going to have another book haul coming up very soon, probably in the next week or two. Um, I've got about eight, maybe six, seven, eight, nine other just random books I've purchased, mostly ebooks that I've purchased over the last month or so, here and there, just one offs. Um, I got a, another book I've been dying to read today on ebook for $2.99 and like a one day sale. And yeah, so there's lots of great reading coming up for me in 2018. Um, all of these books I just showed you included. It's like a smorgasbord. <laughs> and where do I start? I already know where I'm starting for New Year's. So this will be March, most likely before I begin to get to the rest of these. But maybe, maybe earlier. We'll see. And I'm going to wrap it up. I'm Charles of Book Sage. Happy reading. <laughs>